All right, we are here with the uh, great Sean Patrick Flannery. Mr. Flannery, thank you for taking time. Uh, now, let me ask you, were you surprised at all by the uh, the cult following that Boondicks... Uh, uh, fuck, I'm sorry. The Boondicks, what, what did you just Boondicks. say, man? Sorry, let me go again. Was I, what? <laughs> let me correct this. Sean Patrick Flannery, were you surprised at the way the cult following spontaneously and organically generated somewhat overnight, although it wasn't overnight? Uh, well, actually... This is great! Actually, I was. Uh, because in answer to your question, I mean, there's not a recipe that you can shoot out for. There's not a road map to achieve cult status. It just kind of happens, you know? The fans have to take a movie and love it so much they only give it to select friends. And it kind of builds from there. Like a, a cult classic can't happen by advertising companies telling you you have to love something. You gotta find that on your own. And then it has a power that is completely unmatched in the industry. Um, well, my next question, Mr. <laughs> Flannery, this is... Way what do you think about, uh... No, I can't even no, say yeah. that. <laughs> My mind was going to dirty places, man. Now, were you, were you guys, anyone, like, uh, hesitant to go into number two? Nah, man, I mean, you know, we've all been friends for quite a while, so we all had a great time doing number one, and we, we've all, I mean, we go to each other's barbecues and whatnot, so we're all friends. So when it came time to do it, you know, finally, when there was a little litigation that was going on that had to finally had to find itself out and realize and as soon as that was done we went into production like 10 minutes later literally it was like hey you want to me too yeah 10 minutes meet you there done roll camera that was it nice nice now indiana jones very few actors have played the role uh you probably a number two on the list as far as notoriety how would you say you rank better than harrison ford <laughs> under harrison ford would you be in indiana jones five man harrison ford is like he's like the last real movie star we've ever had. You know what I mean? I mean, there's actors, then there's celebrities, then there's movie stars like Montgomery Cliff, Harrison Ford. I'm like an actor, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's kind of like, you know, being in city council and then being the president. You know, I mean, they're two totally different things. Although both are in politics, they're completely different levels. Uh, so, I mean, to compare myself to Harrison Ford is a little ridiculous. I mean, I'd say that- No, but you say you're better though, right? Uh, obviously, you know what I mean? <laughs> when you're measuring badassery, Obviously, I come out on top. Now, he's Harrison Ford, you know what I mean? It's, he's the dude, he's the dude, he's the dude of the dudes. Now, what do you got working on now? Uh, let's see, I just finished a film with uh, Ed Harris and David Duchovny called Phantom. It's uh, about a Soviet ballistic missile submarine that goes missing in the 70s. And I did a Christmas film uh, called The 12 Dogs of Christmas. So I got two of them in the can, and uh, that's what I've been up to, cats.